grade six, how are you? It's me again, Teacher Riz, and welcome back to our MAPI class. So today, we are going to have our new lesson, but before that one, let's review our previous lesson first. Can you still remember? Okay, so we discussed about physical fitness. Okay, so what is physical fitness again? Physical fitness is the ability to perform daily activities. Okay, very good. So there are two components of physical fitness. What are those? We have skill-related fitness and the last one is health-related fitness. Okay, so what is the difference between the two? Okay, skill-related fitness is for the development of your physical health for sports and athletic events okay and health related fitness what is it yes exactly this is for the betterment of your health so who can give me an example of skill related fitness or examples so we have first agility coordination balance speed power Okay, very good. So how about health-related fitness? We have flexibility, muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiorespiratory endurance, and lastly, we have body composition and reaction time. Okay, so have you learned something from our previous lesson? Were you able to apply it? Okay, good job. So today, we are going to learn a new lesson from our arts. Okay, since we are done with music, we are done with PE, now let's proceed to arts. Okay? So before we proceed with our new lesson, let me show you some examples for some pictures. And I want you to guess what this picture is all about or what kind of picture are you watching? Okay? is our lesson for today mm -hmm. is it drawing painting animations cartoony okay so today we are going to talk about drawing and animation okay so question do you know how to draw do you know how to make animations all right so we will experience that one here in our lesson okay now second question what is drawing i know this is a very easy word but i want i want to ask you what is drawing okay so drawing is the use of lines to represent an object idea or mood so it means to pull, push, or drag a marking tool, which is the pencil, the pen, across the surface to leave a line or mark. Okay? This is also done by direct observation or imagination. How about animation? 
Okay, so when we say animation class, I know this is familiar for you, right? So animation class is the process of a creating, creating a continuous, continuous motion and a shape change. Again, the process of creating a continuous motion and shape change. And do you know that uh, the word animation comes from the Latin word animateo. Animateo means the act of bringing to life. Okay, what does it mean? The act of bringing to life. Okay, very good. So at this time, let me share to you the examples of traditional animation technologies. Okay, so first one we have full animation full animation class this process refers to producing high quality okay high quality detailed drawing and plausible movement so it has a high quality detailed drawing so can you see the picture the first picture these are the best examples for full animation we have beauty and the beast so as you can see it has detail Okay, detailed drawing and plausible. We have picture number two and also the Lion King. Okay, so those, uh, this pictures class or this animation produced by Walt Disney Studios. So as you can see, that's Disney. Okay, so Disney Studio, this is one of the best examples for full animation. Okay, so number two, we have limited animation so if there's full animation there's also limited okay so this lim there's limit in the animation so this involves the use of less detail or more stylized drawing methods of movement so you can see the difference compared to the full animation it is detail but limited edition uh, i mean addition limited animation it has less detail okay all right can you see the first picture okay so the internet web cartoons make use of this okay so that's one these are examples next we have rotoscoping okay are you familiar with this so this is a techniques class or technique patented by max Fleischer in 1917 where animators trace live action movement so as you can see the example there, but there's a word live action movement frame. So it seems like yeah, there's an action, right? And then the source film can be directly copied from actors' outlines into animated drawings. So example, we have the Lord of the Rings, that is uh, US 1978. And the other one is Walking Life, US 2001 okay next we have live animation or live action animation so in the means so the word live action this is a technique combining hand-drawn characters into live action shot as you can see the picture as you can see the picture they're already acting right so live action shots right so we can see that Oh, there is a scene with this uh, situation, in this situation. And maybe they are talking or maybe this enemy is the weather a live action shot. Example number one, we have Space Jump. Okay, the first one that has a rabbit. That one. And the other one is Osmosis Jones. Okay. Next, we have Puppet Animation. Obviously, Puppet. This involves puppet figures interacting in a constructed environment. Okay, so again, this involves stop motion class. Okay, involves stop motion puppet figures. Okay, so the puppets have an armature class inside of them to keep them still and steady. So as well as to constrain their motion to particular joints. So best example number one, we have Coraline okay the first one that's a girl right? so we can say that it's a puppet right and the other one tv series robot chicken if you saw this one already that was 2005 us 2005 
Okay? So, we can see in the picture the example that is a puppet animation. Okay? Another one, we have puppet tone. Okay, puppet animation and puppet tone class is different. Okay, quite similar, but there's a difference. Okay, so puppet tone class in puppet animated films, this is typically used or this typically use a different version of puppet. Okay, okay. the difference, they use uh, different frames rather than manipulating one existing topic. Okay, look. The first example, the other one, okay, that one. Next, we have clay animation or plasticine, okay, plasticine. So this uses figures made of clay, of course, the word itself, clay animation. So as you can see, it looks like clay, right? So they're using clays for the animation, okay? So the best example, we have number one, the curse of where rabbit. That one. And the other one is we have The Adventures of Mark Twain. That was 1985. That was years ago. It's been a long time. And the last one, we have The Chicken Run. Okay, Chicken Run, it was US, UK, 2000. So <laughs> that was years ago again. Um, next, we have Cut Out Animation. It's obvious in the picture. Cut Out. Produced by moving two-dimensional pieces of material such as paper or cloth. Okay? So that one, the picture. We have the example, the Charlie and Lola. So it looks like cut-out animation, right? Okay. Next, we have silhouette animation. So silhouette class is different. This is a variant cut-out animation in which the characters are backlit. And visible only at silhouette, so dark. Okay, so it likes a shadow puppet like that. Okay, so they're using light in order to for them to produce an animation. Okay, so we have next modal animation. Okay, modal animation class. This uses matte or matte effects and split screens, and are often employed to blend stop motion. Characters or objects with live actors and settings. Uh, can you see that one? Can you guess that example? That was, or what film is that? That's King Kong. That was during 1993. That was a very long time. Okay? Live actors and settings. Imagine the King Kong. Okay? It's on top of the building. Okay, that one. That's model animation. Next, object animation. This is uh, good for the kids. Mostly the kids are watching this in the tel um, cartoon or uh, cartooning. It uses regular in inanimate objects in stop motion animation as opposed to created items. As you can see, the objects. So the, what are the objects there? There is a bulb. Um, there is a lamp like that so these are object animation they're using objects to make animation okay next we have brick film okay so i think you love lego right you're done watching lego so the use of lego or other similar bricks toys to make animation so they're using lego they're using bricks so like that can you see that one these are the best example for brick films. Okay, next we have pixelation. Uh, by the way, class, for brick film, at present class, its popular popularity is shared in video sites like YouTube. So you can watch this one in YouTube. We have pixelation. So this involves the use of live humans or live humans class as stop motion characters. So can you see that one? Yeah, it's, it looks like humans, but this, uh, there's a, a stop motion characters, okay? Yeah, okay, so the best example, we have the secret adventures of Tom Thumb. Okay, Tom or Tom Thumb. Angry Kid. Okay, so those are examples. We have... Next, computer animation. Okay, so there are two types of computer animations. We have 2D animation 
and 3D animation. Okay, so when we say 2D animation class, it has many applications that include analog computer, flash animation, and PowerPoint animation. Okay, and the figures are created on the computer using bitmap, graphics, and edited using 2D vector graphics. Graphics. Whereas 3D animation class, this this is digitally modeled and manipulated by an animator. Okay, this is done by stating and creating an external 3D mesh. Okay, a mesh is a geometric configuration that gives the visual appearances of form to 3D object or 3D environment. Okay, class, so cell-shaded animation, or machinima, motion capture, and photorealistic animation are some, some terms, examples to 3D. Okay, it's like real. It looks like real. That's um, 3D, okay? Okay, so do you understand? Again, what are the examples of traditional animation technologies? We have full animation, limited animation, rotoscoping, live action animation, puppet animation, puppet tune, clay animation or plasticine, cut out animation, Silhouette animation, model animation, object animation, brick film animation, pixelation. And we have the last two, the computer animation. We have 2D animation and 3D animation. Okay, so at this time, let me share to you, or let me show to you, uh, let me share to you a short video clip or a guide on how are you going to make your own cartoon character yes you heard it right on wednesday we will be making our own cartoon character okay with the use of the powerpoint because i know you have your powerpoint if you are using phone i know there's powerpoint if you're using laptop there's also PowerPoint. That is why we are going to use PowerPoint, okay? So I want you to check the video clip and how uh, how the process or what's the process in making it, designing your own cartoon character. Again, I don't want you to copy what's in the video because I want you to make your own cartoon character. Originality, okay? Are we clear? Okay, that will be on one thing. So here's the video. I want you to watch this.
Okay, so that's it. Was it easy? Okay, so are you ready to make your own character, cartoon character? Okay, so I hope so. And any questions? No more? Okay, so I guess that's all for today. And please study because we are going to have our quiz. And please prepare on Wednesday because we are going to make your own cartoon character. Okay? Thank you for watching grade 6. Bye-bye and take care.